Yo, what is poppin' record that fam? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kagan. I'm joined with my beautiful wife, Anna, aka my princess, my queen, my my slave driver, my cut cut the clip. We just celebrated our 10-year wedding anniversary. So in lieu of that, we're gonna be doing a very special video for you today, and we're gonna find out how well we know each other. How well do you think you know me? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play how well do we really know each other after 10 years of being married all right so how this game is going to work and it's been a long time since we've done kind of a challenge type video this is a little bit different so I'm excited in fact a lot of you have been requesting for us to bring back these type of videos so uh, what better way to kick it off than with my beautiful wife so how this game is going to work okay we've got seven questions actually she has six questions but we got seven questions we're gonna ask each other and we're gonna find out how well we know each other after 10 years of being married now uh, you could be married to somebody for a very long time and still not really really know them because people's lives are so vast and different you know it's uh, uh, you know you grow with each other you learn about each other but even then all the small things like what's my favorite color <laughs> Those type of questions, it may seem like an easy question, but it's easily overlooked. So uh, no matter how much you think you know about somebody, I don't really think that everybody knows as much as they think they do about the person they love or their best friend or the parent. So uh, we're here to find that question out. So you don't have to. Okay, as guest of honor, and drop me the first question. Let's see how well I know you, because I think I know you better than I think you think I know you. All right. So question number one. <laughs> What is one of my greatest fears? I already know this one. Junebugs. What? Nope. Whatever, crickets? I mean, grasshoppers, grasshoppers. No. Uh, being single. No. <laughs> Whatever, it's Junebugs. It is Junebugs. You hate Junebugs. Like, if a Junebug flew in this room right now, this you'd be like gone. A, a deep fear that I have. Oh, come on, okay. Ah! Okay, w would I know this? Like, would. Okay. I've told you. Um. <laughs> I don't know! Okay, what is it? Getting old. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I hate to break it to you, but. I know, it's <laughs> All right, so far I'm off to a horrible start. Horrible start. Okay. Um, all right, my question to you, Anna. What is my favorite dinner item? Come on. Your favorite dinner item? My favorite dinner item. Like, if, if I could pick any meal, uh, birthday, Christmas, whatever it is, Father's Day, what meal, not meal, uh, what main course item, what dinner item, what main course item? I'll, I'll make it a little bit easier. Steak related? Uh, Prime ribs. <laughs> Okay, get Okay, close. Close! It's not prime rib. No, not prime. Ribeye? <laughs> ah! Yes! Yes! Okay, all right. So far, so far she's up by one. All right, question number two. Anna, hit me with it. What's one thing that upsets me that you do? <laughs> Man, these questions are deep. Mine's like easy questions. Okay, what's one thing that I do that annoys you? Oh. You just didn't. Mm. Ask if you're okay. It's one of them, but this is it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, I'm expanding the portfolio. <laughs> what? I just did this a few days ago? Yeah. And I got on. <laughs> and you got mad that I did it. What? <laughs> I'm totally lost. What? Fart under the covers? No. I really don't know. Uh. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I can't give up yet. I gotta get a point on the board. Gotta get a point on the board. What even happened a couple days ago? No. I, I really don't know. I don't know. I, I give up. I don't know. Okay. You put your clothes on the floor. Back <laughs> what? That was my pajama pants. That frustrates me. That was my pajama pants. They were still clean, and you washed them. I had no pajama pants to wear. Ha! Okay, okay. All right, my turn. How long was our very first kiss? 13 minutes. No, 30, 30. <laughs> I don't know. Are you serious? 
Oh, I give up. I give up. How, How long was our very first kiss? Here, let's demonstrate. <laughs> yes, you should. Yes, you should. This is like iconic. This is like was milestone days. This is a long kiss. Really long. <laughs> Come on. This is important. Three hours or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a long time. I think my lips would fall off. <laughs> no. Did you give up? 13 minutes. No. 30 minutes. No. 33 minutes. Oh my God, no. No, we're gonna be here all day. One hour and 15 minutes. That was just kissing, lip to lip, nothing else. One hour and 15 minutes. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Okay, now you do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and hit me with your third question. What was my first date ever like? Where did we go? With not you, it was my first date ever. Wait, what? <laughs> not with me? No. But okay, this my is my first date ever. I, this I, is something about me that I've told you. How would I it's know? Kind of funny in the past. It's my past. Yeah, how would I know that? You know, because I told Before you. Before we were together? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, you're making this impossible. <laughs> Where was your first date? Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Yeah, you should. I, I really don't think okay. you've ever told me this. In Hutchinson. I, I don't think you ever told me this. I legitimately don't think I, I don't know this story. Yes. No, I don't know this. I was this. in the dorm. No, I legitimately don't know this story. You have never told me this. You yes, have, No, you It's a dude <laughs> I met online. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know the name of the restaurant. I just no, know- No, it wasn't a restaurant. No, you, <laughs> you met this dude online. He shows up and you look at this guy and you're like, Nah, that's not who he looks like on his profile pic. And then you just bounce. <laughs> right? No, I didn't. Just bounce. We went to the Cosmosphere. I, I don't know this. I don't remember this. I just remember... He, I, Margo, like, I just remember his... He didn't match his profile pic. Is no, that right? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> okay, so I kind of get this one. I, I kind of. I, I didn't guess the place because there's no way I would remember that. But I kind of got it because I knew the story. All right, all right. All right, my fourth question, where was I conceived? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, what city was I born in? Oscar. Ow! What? Okay, that was too easy. I was, deba I was debating on not putting that because I didn't think you were going to get that. You didn't think oh, I was it's a little rinky dink town up north. Like <laughs> We go visit it. Okay, okay, fair enough. That was too easy. All right, your fifth question. Who was my childhood celebrity crush? Brad Pitt. Okay, that's an easy one. I knew that one. I knew that one. Okay, how many bones have I broken in my body? Like, bro not fractures, not sprains, because I've done a lot of it. How many actual bones have I broken? Three? Like Close. Three yeah, okay, so I have rebroken the same bone three times. But how many total bones, not re-breaks, how many bones have I broken? Two? That's your final answer. Four? What is your answer? I'm gonna need your answer now, Princess or Queen Anne. Two. Is that your final answer? Yes. Ah, yes! Okay, I broke my humerus, which wasn't very funny. And then I broke my collarbone. I broke my left collarbone. Actually, my left humerus and my left collarbone three times. I broke this collarbone three times. Maybe I only broke this twice. Ah, I don't know. You got it right, two bones. <laughs> All right, this is the final round for sake of time. And give your fifth and final question. What did I want to be when I was a child? Have you ever told me this one? I think so. I don't... A preacher's wife? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted... Oh, that was high school. You are going to go to, like, Bible school or something, yeah. right? I really don't... I legitimately don't think you've told me this story either. I think you're really reaching down to stories that I don't know about. What did you want to be when you grew up? Not a dental hygienist, right? Because that's no. what you are now. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. What did you want to be? An archaeologist. What? There's no way. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have never guessed that. No. I would have never guessed that. Well, like the pyramids and stuff. Or, yeah, no. Like, I know you like, like the pyramids, stuff. but you never told me you wanted to be an archaeologist. All right. I feel like my fifth question needs to be something like so deep that I wouldn't even know. Because you're reaching in there. Oh, I'm not. Okay. Okay. So my fifth and final question. God, I feel like this is too easy. I feel like this is too easy. This is not even 
fair, man. Just trying to be easy on you. I'm just gonna do it anyway. What? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit. Are you peeking? No. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. What was the name of the restaurant that we went to on our very first date? Oh, yes, maybe it is a hard one. Yeah. Picasso. No. <laughs> Picasso's. It was an art like museum. It's something like that, though. It's something like that. You're close, but I'm not going to give this one to you. This one, this is our very first date. Okay, for bonus points, let me ask you this. So be thinking about that. <laughs> Do you remember who was there? Yes, I remember who was there. <laughs> There's two couples, right? I just remember one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that may be another story for another time. We might have to do another edition of this. Pizarro or... Oh, you're so close. I almost just want to be nice and give this to you, but I, I feel like I shouldn't. I'll give you a hint. The very first part of the, is a, a, of the net restaurant name is a food that you are not a big fan of that we like to eat. Pizarro? Okay, I'm going to give it to you. It's Pistro. Pistro. You were very close. That, that was close. It was hard. So I, I gotta give it to you. I gotta give it to you. <laughs> you just pissed on my life. All right, guys. So I think we learned something today that my wife knows me a whole lot better than I know her. Partially because she asked me questions that I'm pretty sure I didn't really know the answer to begin with too. But uh, no, we had a good time. So thank you guys for joining us for this week's video. If you guys would like to see a more husband and wife collabs, make sure to let me know in the comment section below um, or on social media. Be sure to drop a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe because that really helps us with uh, future opportunities. And uh, most of all, share with every single person that you know because we're doing awesome things here at Record That and we're gonna have some special announcements coming uh, for 2019, some changes, some new things, not complete changes, but uh, some things for the better. So again, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, babes, thanks for joining me this week. Let's do it for the camera. Thanks,